Oh, give, give me a, a breaches or breaches. 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 breaches or pains. Just give me pains. Give me a word. Just put one. There's only a few. All breaches. All of them. Yeah. Yeah. Or breaches. Or breaches. <laughs> <laughs> All of us in, in, in the law. Well, yeah, in the law. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, we'll step the game up. We'll get the uh, projection and everything as well. It should be a little bit of All right. Bridges. B R E. Bridges. B R E. B R I. 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 Well, it ain't, it ain't, we call them breaches, but it's actually breaches. B-R-E, C. We call them breaches, breaches, whatever. Exodus 28, 42. So we're going to hit all of these right there. should be only five of them, right? Yeah, it is. One, two, three. We're going to go through all the five that talks about breaches. Write it down. What's called pants. And it should be one in the Malachi. Exodus 28, 42. Right, hold on, hold on. Let me write on. Everybody got these up here that's concerning with what we went over? Everybody got this? And y'all, we're going to understand what pants were. Okay. Uh, breaches. B -R -E yeah, we call them breaches. We just call them breaches. It, the name changed. But the, you look them up both things and it'll say C breaches. Everybody got this? Five is also that first Corinthians six and nine. We definitely need to hit that. There's a key word in there that we need to understand because this this deals with us. Then we'll get out tough in the hand because it's right at 130. But let's okay. let's hit every one in five places that it talks about where this is mentioned. And we're gonna see who it's talking to first off when it starts talking. Right where, where you going at Matt? You got oh. you got Exodus 28 and 42. Exodus 28 and 42. You got Exodus 39 and 28. 39, 28. Leviticus 6 and 10. Leviticus 6 and 10? Yeah. Uh, Leviticus 16 and 4. 16 and 4. Ezekiel 44 and 18. Ezekiel 44 and 18. Breaches. And 18. Breaches. Now we're going to see y'all. And then give me the, who got the dictionary? Give me, you got pants and that. Or, 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 yeah, just do breaches. Or, or breaches. I tell you what, just type in pants because it'll tell you what it is. Hold on, hold on, y'all. Hold it down. What is it saying? The lower rear part of the trunk of the body. What's the lower part of the body? The lower part of the body. Oh, he said buttocks. <laughs> so, what we're going to find out, y'all, all this talking about is a pair of drawers. That's what we're going to end up coming out with. How about undergarments? Under, uh, and, and they're called, look, you got pants. And then you got under <coughs> pants. And we're going to see our under breeches. Oh, spell something else. <laughs> <laughs> under breeches or breeches. So, how you spell that? B-O-E-E-C-H-E-S. Oh, in the script, ain't you? Right, yeah. I know what it is. So y'all, this is the whole topic right here, should women wear pants? Well, this is going to put men on the spot too. Because I asked the same thing, what were men wearing back in the day? You can't switch to the custom of this land, of this land and then say women are in violation of this custom. When in our custom, men wore skirts. There's a difference between a woman's skirt and a man's skirt. It was a warrior skirt with fringes on it. Yeah, it was below the knee. So it was a warrior skirt. He had his sword on his side. Who in here wore the skirt David had on when he killed Goliath? Elisha. Next thing. Elisha used to wear them. Go ahead, sis. What you got? I can't hear you. Go ahead, sis. A woman has to wear some type of custom. Is it possible for the woman to not have some feelings of a hand? Impossible. Some feelings of a what? A pants. A pants? Yes. Well, if we understand what pants is, we're going to find out they draw. They or panties, or whatever you want to call it, but they are undergarment. Blue. Everywhere we read about these pants, these are going to be under a garment. So if this is the case, if pants is what it is, and we are labeling it to women, then the men are underdressed. I'm underdressed. I got on a pair of pants, he got on a pair of pants. Where's our cover over our pants? 
Um, then we underdress. We in here draw. <coughs> what they're doing is adding to the scripture. That's what they're doing. Let's read, the, let's read these examples, y'all, so we get clear understanding. And then we're going to read what the law say. And then we're going to get on our dreams and visions because it's very important, y'all, that we hit these because of the time period that we in. Bathroom right through that door, you'll see a little, little sign that says, Me and that women separate bathroom. Through the glass door. Through the glass door, right there. You'll see that little thing, wet floor sign. Go right through that glass door, it's right there on your right. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Let's get it. The woman should not work. Hold on, everybody there. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. The woman should not word that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. That's plain and simple. How, how hard is that to understand? So what about Medea? <laughs> right. Violation. 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 Right. So we want to be clear about that. Man, woman should not put on what pertaineth to a man, neither man. Every store you go into. See, this is why I be without excuse. If you a man and you keep wandering over here, you're breaking the law. If you a woman, you keep on coming over here and keep liking the way them dickies look, it's going to be a problem. What about Dickie? Come, yeah, the side, come to the double glass door on the, the union side. side. Come up the steps and then make a right down the end of the hall. You see the sign? I go out there, bro. Okay. But, uh, y'all, this is what we're talking about. It's plain and simple. There's no confusion in any store, is it? Even if it is a store, it'll say this. Unisex. It'll even tell you, look, men wear women's clothes, women wear men's clothes in this store. That store you can't go in. Huh? This is what the law say. Don't, don't go to unisex stores. Don't mix and match it up. No mix the diverse garments on, on no occasion. Huh? You got on a blouse and button, and, and not only this, but they even set up to the point that women blouses button up on the left side, men buttons are on the right side. The zipper the same, however it goes, that lets you know you are in violation. So that is without excuse. Now, now, we finished that Deuteronomy. Go ahead, read some more. For all that do, so or abomination unto the Lord thy God. That's right. Now, this covers spirituality too because men were built with testosterone. Women overloaded with a little bit more of, of hormones and emotions. Men can't wear that. Women, estrogen. Thank you, Women, men can't wear that estrogen and emotion. So men and can women wear testosterone. So man is not supposed to be over emotion. No. Oh, okay. No, he can, he can cry, David cry. Christ wept, but we ain't talking about them getting your feelings, man. <laughs> no, and that's because the men were removed in the house so they saw this display. Women, you have to make sure. We're not talking about wearing your son out, but you got to tell him, hush it up and get off my lap. You can't put boy children on your lap. When they reach a certain age, you can't keep making them pee sitting down because they keep missing the mark. Because it ain't no man to show them how to pee. You tired of that pee smell around the toilet. I'm sick of this, you sit down. No. You can't make them sit down and pee. We got to be clear on that. So let's get that Ephesians 6 and 9. Then, y'all, we're going to hit these concerning this and see if it has anything to do with, with women or men clothes. Will you get Ephesians 6 and 9 things? Did you just come up with that Did you just come up with No, it's just second with me. Uh, we, we're talking about, we, we hit the, get the law, always two with me. So Deuteronomy 22, 5, 1, and then we're going to go to Ephesians 6 and 9. 
because it's going to be a very important thing here that lets us know the same thing, you know. And, and this is spiritual and emotion, y'all. We got to understand that. You, you, you see a man kicking out on the floor, hooping and hollering, it's going to be a problem for that. The same thing if you see a woman grab between her legs, parking street. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> 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 